Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Heartland. Hi, Miss Erica. I love being with you in Heartland. How are you doing today? I am great. You know, I am so happy to be here today. And anytime we get together to learn about God is a great day. That is so true. I could not agree more, Miss Erica. And you know what? Learning about Jesus with you and all the boys and girls, it is so much fun. I know. You know what? Why don't we head over to Heartland so that we can find out more about what Farmer Joey is going to be telling us today. All right, let's go. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Farmer Joey, and I'd like to welcome you to Heartland. Here in Heartland, we like to sing songs to Jesus, hear about God's love, and learn from the Bible. Also, we can be more like Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, how about you all stand up right where you are and give yourself a hand. Give yourself a pat on the back and a great big hug for tuning in to Heartland today. Farmer Joey, Farmer Joey! Farmer <laughs> Joey, Farmer Joey, I'm coming, Farmer Joey! <laughs> Uh, uh, hi, Samson. <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, hi, Reverend Joey. I was, um, I was just saying there was a lot of uh, prophets to help the Israelites, right? <laughs> yes. The Israelites needed a lot of help remembering God's rules. Well, I heard Lucas and Nate talking about all the prophet uh, Zephaniah and uh, the scary things that he told all the people. Oh, nice. That means they were talking about what we learned in this week's Bible story. Wow. Wow, it's, um, it's been a long time since I read any story about Zephaniah. Yeah, you know, this is the first time we're talking about him in Heartland, too, which means he's a new prophet to our boys and girls. Wow, I, I remember when that he had to tell the people that one day that God would come and punish everyone that disobeyed him. Yes, he did. Zephaniah told the people about the day of the Lord, which is the day that we will all face our judgment. Wow, I, I hope that they didn't scare the boys and girls. <laughs> well, you know, if they listened to the whole story, they would remember that Zephaniah told the people it would not be too late to start loving and following God. Ah, that's right. Maybe I should go and remind uh, Lucas and Nate about that part because they seemed a little bit worried. You know, that sounds like a great idea. Why don't you do that? Uh, okay, Farmer Joey, I'll be right back, okay? okay. Hey, Lucas, Nate, Lucas, Nate! Lucas, <laughs> Nate! Oh. Boys and girls, God always has a plan to help us. But we have to do what God wants so that he can save us. So while we wait for Samson, how about we stand and use our best singing voices to sing about God's word? You know, boys and girls, every time we gather in Heartland, we're going to talk about the letter that God has sent us. And we can read it every day. What is that letter called, boys and girls? Bible. That's right, the Bible. I open my Bible and listen to God. He tells me what I should do. I know that he loves me. He hears when I pray. And all of his stories are true. Now let's be very still and quiet and see what the Bible has to tell us this morning. Good morning, Bible. Good morning, Farmer Joey, and good morning, boys and girls. Please.
please tell us something from God's Word this morning, Bible. The Bible verse today is, Repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out. Acts 3 verse 19. Let's say a verse together, boys and girls, and repeat after me. Repent then. Repent then. And turn to God. And turn to God. So that your sins. So that your sins. May be wiped out. May be wiped out. Let's repeat that, boys and girls. Repent then. Repent then. And turn to God. And turn to God. So that your sins. So that your sins. May be wiped out. May be wiped out. One day, God will send Jesus. Yes, he will, Bible. Boys and girls, when God sends Jesus, we will all be judged for our sins. But when God sends Jesus, it will be a good day for those who believe in him. Exactly, Bible. When God sends Jesus, those that believe in him will not be punished by God. This is because Jesus took the punishment for everyone's sin. Exactly, Bible. Jesus died for everyone's sin, but only those who believe in him will not be judged because they are following what God wants. Thank you, Bible, for helping me teach the boys and girls about believing in Jesus so that we can be with God in heaven forever. Boys and girls, like Farmer Joey and Samson mentioned, the day of the Lord can be a scary thing because people will be punished. Yeah, that's right, Miss Erica. When Jesus comes back, everyone will be judged. Do you know what that means? Well, it means that God will look out among all the people and see if they have asked for forgiveness of their sins or not. If people haven't repented, which is a fancy way of saying ask for forgiveness, then they will be punished. Oh, that's right. Remember, there are always consequences for our actions and decisions. But you know what? That day, the day of the Lord, doesn't have to be scary. That's right. You know what? Let's head back to, to Harland and see what Farmer Joey and Samson have to say about the day of the Lord. All right, let's go. Farmer Joey! Farmer Joey! Farmer Joey! Farmer Joey! <laughs> hey, Samson. So... Did you talk to Lucas and Nate? I, I, I sure did, uh, Farmer Joey, and I asked them if they read the whole story, and of course they did not read the whole thing. Of course. Those two are always getting sidetracked. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we read the whole story together, and they were surprised about the ending. Oh, so now they know that God said that when it was time for him to punish the people, he would take care of the people who trusted in him. Yes, and I asked the boys if they knew some of the ways that they could trust God, too. Oh, good. You know, I really hope they knew some. <laughs> oh, they did, Farmer Joey. They told me that um, they had to love only God and follow His rules. And then I reminded them of the most important way that had to do with Jesus. Awesome. So you told them that the most important way was the gospel, which is to believe that Jesus died for our sins was buried and rose again. I did, Farmer Joey. I was so proud of myself. They, they, they were very excited. Isn't it awesome that God has a way to protect and love us when we believe in Him and His Son, Jesus? Yes, it is, Farmer Joey. And you know what? I don't think the boys are, are scared of the day of the Lord anymore. They even said that they were going to tell Tina and Tiana and all the other kids that they are not scared either. That is so awesome. You know, I love it when they want to share what they learned. Yeah, well, I'm actually supposed to be helping Miss Sue in the garden right now, so um, I'm going to get going, okay, Farmer Joey? Okay. Bye, Farmer Joey, bye! bye. Miss Sue, I'm coming, Miss Sue! Samson. <laughs> Boys and girls, one day, God will come to judge and punish those who sin. But remember, he also gives us a way to not be punished, which is to believe and follow his son, Jesus. Well, I think it's time to stand and sing another song.
boys and girls. All our Bible stories point us to Jesus. This week, we learned about Zephaniah the prophet, who told the people about the day that God will punish everyone for their sins. But we know that on that day, Jesus will return and make everything right. And that from that day on, we will get to be with God and Jesus forever. So, boys and girls, let's repeat our Bible verse. And make sure you say it as awesome as you can. Repent then. Repent then. And turn to God. And turn to God. So that your sins. So that your sins. May be wiped out. May be wiped out. Acts 3.19. Great job. Now, let's bow our heads and talk to the Lord and repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for loving us so much. That you sent your only son, Jesus. That you sent your only son, Jesus. To save us from our sins. To save us from our sins. We love you. We love you. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, for my favorite part, let's tell your mom and dad just how much God loves them. You ready? One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves you. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye. Boys and girls, just like God looks for those who haven't repented, God will also look for the people who love him, mm. that he set apart to live with him in heaven forever. Yeah, that's right. The good news is that God loves us and he wants us to accept the most best, most awesomest, ultimate gift ever. And do you know what that is, Miss Harrington? I do. It's Jesus, God's only son. He came to earth and he took the punishment that we deserve so that we can ask for forgiveness and live with God. God designed us to be with him always. And God says that if we love him and obey him, then we get to do just that. Wow. He wants to have us protected and safe, and he wants us to live with him. Wow, Miss Erica, that is so amazing that God gives us the chance to come after him and follow him and desire him, even when we do not deserve it. That's right. You know what? We have had a great time here in Heartland, so we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.